to the river Euphrates. That's not true. The Quran proves that that is false. The Holy Land does not exist from the river of Egypt to the river Euphrates. That is false. But it's there in the Bible. They put it in. And so Israel has to wage a big war which will dramatically expand the territory of the state so that Israel will, swear, will, will, will control the Suez Canal tomorrow. And Israel will control the oil of the Gulf tomorrow. And there will be a concomitant attack on the U.S. dollar. And the U.S. dollar collapses. And when it collapses, it will bring down the whole world of paper money with it. This is our lecture on Islam and the international monetary system. When Israel wages that big war, I expect that Israel will unleash weapons of warfare we've never seen before. And at the end of it, Israel will take over from the United States as a new ruling state in the world. But Israel cannot wage that war while still there are any significant obstacles in the way. And now put on your thinking caps. Which is the most significant obstacle which still stands in the way of Israel waging her big war? Is it a man named Osama bin Laden and his men hiding in caves in Afghanistan? Is it that blue-eyed stooge of the Yankee, a man named Saddam Hussein? Are they significant obstacles in the path of Israel? Is it Taliban in Afghanistan? Wake up! None of these are significant obstacles in the part of Israel. Israel has one major obstacle in its way that must be removed before Israel can wage that big war. And it is Pakistan's nuclear weapons capacity. And coupled with that is Iran's missile capacity. And so all the hullabaloo we're going through now, all the maneuverings on the chessboard of the world, are all intended to culminate with the destruction of Pakistan's nuclear capacity. That is around the corner. That's about to take place. Parvez Musharraf, of course, is playing a very significant role in it. <coughs> I expect that Israel will be able to wage a big war probably within the next five to ten years. But Allah knows best. When Israel wages that big war and re replaces the United States as a ruling state in the world, the first ruling state was Britain. The second ruling state was the United States. The third and the last would be this imposter state of Israel. I am suggesting to you that Dajjal or the Antichrist would now have completed stage two, a day which is like a month, and would be commencing stage three, a day which is like a week, meaning a much shorter period of time. It is at this time that terrorism reaches its climax. They not only attacked Sheikh Ahmad Yassin in an act of state terrorism that Washington did not see. They have now attacked and killed Ablaziz Rantisi. And they have declared that they are going to continue killing all those who dare to lift their hands against the state of Israel. This is the biggest terrorist of all in the world, the state of Israel. But CNN will never tell you that. When Israel becomes the ruling state in the world, it is at that time that Muslims and black Christian Africa, these two are brothers with each other, black Christian Africa 
black Christian Africa open their arms to Muslims when we were being persecuted, when war on Islam was being waged in the lifetime of Nabi Muhammad and a Christian king, a Christian king, a black Christian king in Africa protected us. I will never send them back to you, he said. And he looked at Islam and he looked at Christianity and he said, that which divides us from you is no more than this line in the sand. The negus of Abyssinia. So too it was at that time. So too again it is today. <coughs> the major attacks that Israel will launch <coughs> will be on Muslims and black Christian Africans. The prophet said that a man will pass by a grave and would roll on the grave and would say, I wish I were in the grave rather than the dead man because of biting, relentless oppression. But it will not last forever. The Dajjal or the Antichrist would be born he would grow up. He would become the ruler of the state of Israel. He would rule the world from Jerusalem the way George Bush is ruling from Washington. I expect this within the next 50 years or so, but Allah knows best. It's going to be a horrible 50 years ahead of us. Horrible. And then he will declare, I am the Messiah. And the Jews will accept him as a Messiah. And then he rub his hands and say, mission accomplished. It is at that time that the son of Mary will now come back, not before. Jesus cannot return until the Antichrist has completed his mission. The Christians of this country would do well if they would come to Islam so that Muslims can explain to them the subject of the Antichrist as it has been explained to them today, as never before explained to them. Jesus cannot return until the Antichrist has completed his mission. The Antichrist has completed almost two-thirds of his mission, but there is one-third still remaining. At that time, <coughs> the Son of Mary comes down, and the true Messiah now kills the false Messiah. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will destroy Gog and Magog, and that's our next lecture, inshallah. So you've got to come back next month. <coughs> and then said the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, just listen to these two hadiths and we'll be finished he said when you see the black flags coming from the direction of Khorasan Afghanistan is part of Khorasan he said go and join that army these are two hadiths combined here. go and join that army even if you have to crawl over ice. These are his words. Go and join that army. Even if you have to crawl over ice. Because no one will be able to stop that army until it reaches Jerusalem. And so go back home today with joy in your hearts. Even while there are tears in your eyes for the immense suffering through which we are going. Go back home with joy in your heart that there is a tomorrow which is coming in which a Muslim army will liberate the Holy Land. The Prophet said, لَتُقَاتِلُنَّ الْيَهُودِ You will most certainly fight the Jews. 
That's clear. Look at what they're doing today. You will kill them. You will be victorious. These are his words. At that time, even the stones will speak. Ya Muslim, there's a Jew hiding behind me. Fata'ala faqtul. So come and kill him. Not all those who are fighting us in the Holy Land, those who are waging war, those who are engaged in a mountain of wickedness and oppression and godlessness unprecedented in history, go and kill them. <coughs> so the Holy Land would be liberated. And then the Islamic State, the Holy State of Israel, of David and Solomon, will now be restored in the Holy Land. And that Holy Israel will become the ruling state in the world. And the son of Mary will now rule the world from Jerusalem with a rule which will be eternal. And the religion of Abraham, the true religion of Abraham, would rule the world from the Holy Land. What Prophet Muhammad brought, Allah's blessings be upon him, is the religion of Abraham. And so we ask of you today, go back home and read the Quran once again. And see in the Quran the true religion of Abraham and accept it. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samir alim. وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم برحمتك يا رحمة الرحيم آمين